you know, I grew up on a dairy farm and um, never would have dreamed that I would be living in a city in the context of an ethnic ministry. We decided our team would take on all of the ones where there weren't, where there wasn't a movement and all of the students we weren't touching. So for example, we worked at LA City College, which is a community college. And so you come in contact with, um, with the urban poor and, um, and all of the ethnicities of the city and uh, way different than me in the Midwest, um, off of a farm and going away to college. It just wasn't the same experience. And uh, so it just challenged my view of who students are. And over a period of a few years, I could feel a change taking place in me and how I viewed ministry, how I viewed life. Um, it really changed how I, how I saw things. And not just the challenges of the ethnic world, but some of the beauty of, of culture um, and what each culture brings to what God wants to do. And it was a healthy change, um, change that I, I needed to see. And I think that we as an organization and as a movement wide uh, need, need to see continuing. And uh, I would say be a learner. Be willing to engage with people who are different from you and really see them as people to learn from and learn and observe the differences and kind of take to heart the differences and appreciate the differences because God is um, God is a God who is the author of all of the cultures and, and so appreciate that God is bigger than what any one of us brings. And it's just a, an amazing thing to watch because I think it's a picture of how God wants to touch people in some of the cultural weaknesses so that the cultural strengths could be, um, could be shown. After hearing people's story uh, and kind of listening and, and hearing kind of how God moved in people's lives, it just has given me a greater understanding of when I sit across the table with someone, if I don't understand all that's, a lot of what's behind that person, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to relate to them, lead them, you know, I don't wanna influence in places where I don't understand what God has done to bring them to this point. We couldn't be more different from their families, um, but to, to be trusted to be a part of the process and really be welcomed into that process was an amazing, amazing experience. And as I think about kind of the beauty of culture, you know, it's kind of like when you taste, taste God's grace, um, you don't want to lose sight you don't want to lose sight of it, so it, it reaches me to this day.